Cecilia. Thank you. Just a couple things on the Yates thing. So how, ex how and when exactly did the White House encourage her to testify? Well, the, the letter that her attorney sent literally says that if we do not receive a response by March 27th at 10 a.m., I will conclude that the White House does not assert executive privilege over the matters with respect to hearings or otherwise. I don't think you can be any clearer than that. And so you're saying now executive privilege does not... No, no, I'm not saying right? anything. I'm literally... That's what she wrote. The action was, if you don't act, then we will assume the following. Great. I don't think that you can read that any other way. It was very... She's, a, I'm sure, a very talented... Uh, he is a very talented lawyer and wrote it specifically for it. We read it that way and, and chose to not act because we have no problem with her testifying, plain and simple. So executive privilege is not an issue for Sally Yates, would, would have not have been an issue for Sally Yates testifying. That's correct. Okay, thank you. And following I, up, one issue, you want to add? No, I just, uh, you're, I don't, it's interesting. I mean, th this is very clearly worded, and yet somehow you're asking me how to interpret that in any other way than literally reading plain English. I or something else for me. Does the president still believe that climate change is a hoax? I think you'll hear more today about the climate and what he believes. I think he understands. Um, he, he does not believe that, as I mentioned at the outset, that you that is there is a binary choice between job creation, economic growth, and, and caring about the environment. And that's what we should be focusing on. I think at the end of the day, where we should be focusing on is making sure that all Americans have clean water, clean air, and that we do what we can to preserve and protect our environment. Is it April? Is it April? April, go ahead. Okay. All right, thank Sorry. you. Um, Sean, 